Okay, so this is a how to make a movie tutorial. Mind you, I'm not very good at this, so I am going to try to simplify this as much as I possibly can. First, um, you have to get footage with a recorder. I'm using a Hypercam right now. Uh, Hypercam, unregistered version 2, whatever. Oh, crap. Anyways, uh, get footage by clicking import into collections. Um, when you have some footage, I'll just use some old RuneScape footage I used to make some staking videos or some crap. RuneScape videos. Let's try clip 18. That looks cool. Okay, so I have my footage right here, and if I want to do what I want to do is I'm probably going to want to make an intro. And you do that by clicking edit movie. No. No, yeah. See, so you, you drag drag some of the video that you want onto the timeline. And then you'll have something to work with. See, uh, it's showing a preview of what the video looks like. Now what I want to do is I want to add an intro to the movie. So right here down at finish movie. Is some people do that at the end. Some people do this at the beginning. I like doing it at the the beginning. Uh, go to uh, make titles or credits. Uh, add titles at the beginning of the movie. Title will be let's make it crackers. Are cool. So, that gives you a preview of what it's going to look like. Say you don't want to have it fading in like that. You can click change the title animation. So it'll do a whole bunch of different things. Like, as you can see right now, it'll be dripping like paint. Or scroll bar. Over. That takes a while. But you can speed it up. I'll show you how to do that later. Let's let's click scroll inverted. Ch do we want to change the color or not? Let's let's keep the color. Don't screw with that. But if you want to change the color, it's right here. Click done. Add it to the movie. As you can see, it's a movie right now. And go to video effects. Like I said, I was going to speed it up. So you sp you find the thing that says video effects and scroll down the bottom of the list and it says speed up double drag that onto the thing or drag that into your intro it'll make it twice it'll, it'll make it half the size because it's not as long now it'll be going a lot faster but that's not fast enough for me so I'm gonna make it even slower even faster now we'll say crackers and then I'll go to my video so I don't want it to convert in my video like that. I can add different transitions. You do that by on Edit Movie, click Make uh, View Video Transitions. Many different transitions you can pick from: zigzag, horizontal, it's up and down, zigzag, vertical. Um, I kind of like uh, shatter up left, so I'm going to. Dra drag shatter up left onto my clip. Now when I play it, it'll say crackers. Then it'll shatter that into my video screen. Say you freeze on the video and you just recorded, say, 20 seconds of yourself doing absolutely nothing. You can cut that out by clicking this button right here. Say... I don't want to see that guy die, so I'm just going to skip over that guy dying. Cut that again, and as you can see we have the middle part of the video. Right click, delete. So I just cut out his death. See now when we play the video, he just like died and stuff. So since I don't have much film, I guess I'm going to end it right now.
um, view video effects edit movie pain pain for you sorry credits okay credits at the end of the movie I'm going to say tutorial done add it to the movie go to the end and if I want to I can make that fade into I'll just do something simple so now when it plays it'll scroll like that it's really quite simple as that how to finish it all off is go up to file um, and save movie file or at the very bottom uh, on the left side the movie tasks you can click finish movie, save to my computer. Then name it what you want. I'm just gonna name it tutorial. And this is a long part. It converts the movie into a Windows Media video. Windows yeah, Windows Media Player video file. And since the video is short, it shouldn't take long. But I hope you guys have learned from this. Mm, I guess space.